In just a few hours, the CU Buffs football team will be in the national spotlight. A new documentary highlights its run to a national championship in the 90s. But as the now's Jason Grenauer found out, this thing is drumming up some controversy. It is. The movie, or the film rather, is called The Gospel According to Mac, an ESPN 30 for 30 documentary about Colorado coach Bill McCartney, his deep and at times outspoken religious beliefs, and how that affected the football team and its players. Now, some of the trailers for this film are pretty controversial. Controversial, raising the questions if that coach played favorites with some of the more religious players or if team prayers were mandatory. I spoke to former CU quarterback and film executive producer Charles Johnson today. He says the film is accurate, but it might not be what everyone wants to hear. Sometimes the truth uh, and reliving that truth makes people uncomfortable. There's nothing wrong with that at all. This isn't a kumbaya sort of, uh, you know, rah rah piece. It's just. It's life as it happened at that moment. Now, Johnson told me that the film also deals with encounters that Boulder police had with some members of the CU football team who were African American football players. It will also tell the story of Coach McCartney's daughter, who had a child with one of the team's quarterbacks. That documentary airs tonight at 7 on ESPN.